Hey everyone, welcome back to the Crypto ZX channel. If you're new, please consider subscribing. But now let's talk about Jupiter, giving you guys my overall take on what's happening and of course what is yet to come as you go further into the month of February. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. You know, as you know, the month of February has started on such a positive note, two days in a row, and the market is looking quite green. And in the next half hour, to be exact, we are going to be closing the daily candle. It's going to be really, really important to see where the price of Bitcoin closes the daily candle, which is literally in about half an hour uh, from the time of recording this update. But if we're looking at the majority of the market, market is looking really good, of course. Um, if we're looking at Jupiter, it's up 1.2%. Uh, but let's take a further look and see what is happening. And of course, what we could be expecting as we do go further into the month of February. So if we're looking at the price right now, it's currently sitting at 61.6 cents. You know, it's up about 2.2% in both Bitcoin and USD comparative with the market cap currently sitting at $831.1 million. And the 24 hour trading volume is approaching the half a billion dollar mark. Um, so, you know, so far, so good. The price is not looking too bad, and I'm going to explain as to why that's the case. But before we go into it any further, as always, just a quick disclaimer, anything on this channel is not financial advice. Always do your own due diligence and research when you are investing in crypto. So we're going to start off with the poll that I did. So exactly a day ago, I asked everyone, you know, as far as the community. So you guys, I asked, what coin are you most excited about for quarter one of 2024? And of course, as you can see, there's were four coins listed, and of course, a fourth the fifth option was other which you can comment down below and about 2200 people uh, voted and um, you can pretty much see Solana came at the top and Jupiter about 9% of the people uh, from the 2200 votes that came in are saying that Jupiter is the coin that they're most excited about and I'm extremely extremely excited about Jupiter as far as you know this year and this bull cycle goes um, I think the potential that it has right now is being overlooked especially by the people that don't have patience of course there's two different types of people there's either uh, one that actually require the funds um, you know for their personal needs which is totally totally okay uh, because at the end of the day we're no one to judge and we're no one to tell who uh, gets to lock in profits or not but there's also these fudders that you know fud projects that are not instantly blowing up and these are the people that honestly get left behind in my opinion look at uniswap early days look at majority of the airdrops that that dropped um, initially we do tend to see that sell-off and that's exactly what we saw happening with Jupiter but I think you know the amount of allocation that's being continuously claimed is increasing which is going to help Jupiter in the long term and I'm expecting that we will see Jupiter bouncing before you know it so let's take a further look you guys can see this for yourself you know it's breaking records um, continues to dominate stablecoin USDT and on-chain trading volume over the past 48 hours and not only that this is the thing that's worthwhile noting so you can see this for yourself Jupiter airdrop claim has been slowing down only three percent claims in the last 24 hours so total claim is now at 600 and 60 million dollars worth that has been claimed so what you're basically seeing here is that less amount of people are claiming um, and this does not mean that people are um, you know forgetting their private keys or they don't have access to it some people just generally don't even need to claim you know some people actually don't care they just want to claim when the price is you know way higher and it doesn't really matter because you have until i believe june or july to claim that so there's still a lot of percentage out there i think around 85 to 90 percent will still be claimed and maybe you could say 10 percent might completely get burned um, you know if no one claims in you know lost wallets etc etc so you know these are factors that not a lot of people keep in mind but you know this number um, is increasing which gives uh, you an indication that more and more people have claimed it and of course as this number grows you know the lesser chance there is for people to you know come out and dump but you know, right now the only three percent claimed in the last 24 hours is a bullish sign in my opinion and as far as people um, you know as far as traders go this is a huge uh, plus point uh, for them so you know that's that in my opinion and on top of that this is the most exciting one uh, bonkbot io earned 1.23 million dollars in fees during the jupiter launch on the 31st of january 
This is the highest 24 hour fee earning ever recorded for Bonkbot. And again, really, really nice to see. But now let's take a look at what's happening and why the next few hours are very important. Literally, the next 25 minutes is very important. And as of now, Bitcoin is looking like it might be able to actually do that. So, why is this so important? So, like I said, in about 25 minutes, we close out the daily candle and we're seeing Bitcoin retesting the 38.2 Fibonacci retracement level. We've seen several rejections, pretty much one on the 30th um, of last month, one on the 31st um, but you know like i said in about 25 minutes if bitcoin is able to push back into the 38.2 which is only a percentage move and actually close above this level of uh, resistance i think we will see more upside because you know pretty much since the 12th of january we haven't seen the price actually closing back above uh you know the 38.2 fibonacci retracement level so that's why it's really really important for uh you know bitcoin to get back into that level and we still have about 25 to uh, 26 minutes until that does take place so what's next for jupiter though you know as far as jupiter uh, technical analysis goes guys it's still quite early uh to do ta on this but you know it was launched around 76 seven cent no around like 50 cents i believe it made its way up to 74 to 75 cents you know of course uh, not every uh, chart will be able to um, indicate that but 77 to i'm sorry 75 cents is its all-time high and pretty much since then we know about the sell-off that we did see initial sell-off um, we made its way uh, down to 56 cents and speaking about this 56 cents mark if you uh, you know bought jupiter let's say you did not have an allocation and you bought this dip which is literally just yesterday now you are up right now 9.53 percent and speaking about an all-time high in order for it to hit an all-time high um 75 cents is about a 21.25 percent increase so you know what you're seeing right now on the hourly time frame is something quite interesting so if this actually was the bottom which was just yesterday at 56.39 cents as of now we're seeing this upwards uh, trajectory forming on the charts on the hourly time frame we're creating higher highs higher lows so it's going to be really really interesting to see how uh, jupiter plays out but i'm expecting that jupiter will fly sooner rather than later and yes i do expect that jupe will reach a dollar sooner than a lot of people think if i were to go on the overall markets let's go to a 1.35 billion dollar market cap you're literally looking at in between algorand and thor chain uh for no, I'm sorry, it, in between a Thor chain to Bitcoin SV uh, for Jupiter's uh, ranking at a dollar. So this is where it would be ranked at uh, if that was the case. So, so far, so good. Really liking what I'm seeing here. Um, and, you know, the haters that hate on Jupiter, I'm sure, uh, are speechless, um, especially the ones that were hating yesterday. It has bounced back about 10%. Some people were calling two cents Jupiter, which is literally something I can't wrap my head around. I wish, I honestly wish that was the case. If it was going to two dollars i would go crazy but again that's my own personal opinion but so far so good we're going to take it one step at a time as always let's do focus very closely on bitcoin's price uh, like i said the next 20 minutes are very important hopefully we do close back into the 38 point of fibonacci retracement level but i will keep you guys updated in the solana update so stay tuned for that love each and every one of you guys we'll see you tomorrow in crypto zx and peace out